what's up guys? Cine Stalker here for another video. In this video right here, do a nice little collection of some Blu-rays and some DVDs I've gotten recently. Talk about a nice little stack of some awesome goodness right there. Share with you that with my thoughts of those flicks right now. Then maybe I've got a little um, some other stuff like some thoughts of the new Child's Play flick that comes out today. All right, first off, I'm gonna start with some titles from Arrow Video and MVD Entertainment. First off, from Arrow Video is this right here. It's a really cool collection of movies called the American Horror Project Volume 2. I got Volume 1 previously about almost, I think it's like about a year ago. And these ones are like some really cool, obscure American horror flicks. Like these weird cult movies they put in this really nice box set collection. Some really good ones. I really like them all. Especially the child. That one really stuck out with how it was and then things like that. But I'm going to kind of show you what it looked like, uh, the contents of this thing. It's a really rad collection. It comes with a nice booklet. Really superb stuff as everybody always puts out some amazing product. Let me show you right now what the contents look like. Here you go, a nice little uh, better uh, look at it right here. This little cool set, and you open it up like this, Oop, and it falls over like that. But you get all these individual Blu-rays of each movie. <clears throat> the other one is right up here, right there, really cool one too, Dream No, uh, Dream no Evil. But these are some really good sets of some really rad movies you might not have even seen before. Here's like what it looks like, a better look like of the back of it. All kinds of good extras in these things. Like commentary tracks and all that kind of good stuff right there. And up here, you get this nice pamphlet of uh, talk about the movies, how they put these together, and why they chose these ones to put out. Really good stuff. Really nice, obscure, 70s cult horror cinema is this. A lot of good stuff. Good hidden gems. Definitely a really good set right here. For that kind of like obscure, kind of interesting horror movies. And if you've seen these before... Definitely check these out. These are all nice, good 2K restorations on Blu-ray. Look really superb and amazing on you know on on your set. Klaus Kinski and this one I've never seen before called Double Face. Kind of interesting, like psychedelic psycho drama. A little bit of like a Giallo style as this one up here, starring Klaus Kinski. He's married to this uh, woman up here. His wife gets to this uh, accident and is discovering so there's like some weird stuff going on of like the carbon had been tampered with. Kind of looking into evidence of that. And then not really sure what the hell's going on because he, he discovers like this pornographic movie that was recently shot. And his wife, it looks like his wife's in it. So I'm not sure if it's like a big mind game with him or some like two faced, double faced stuff going on with him. This weird little mystery psycho drama is this one. Really cool, interesting flick is this right here. Show you the back of it right now. By Ricardo Frida. He did um, the movie uh, Woman, A Lizard and a Woman's Skin. Really good director. Um, but uh, check it out right up here. Here's like all the. Back of it, nice 2K restoration, loaded up with all kinds of features. A great commentary by uh, you know Tim Lucas is a great commentator of all these kind of movies and genre pieces. Is this next one up here by Blue Underground is another Lucio Fulci classic. Lucio Fulci, of course, did Zombie and a bunch of other cool horror flicks. Is this one called the Sleazy New York Ripper with that lenticular cover? You can see it right there. It kind of moves and that kind of thing. This is a nice three disc set. Because in the Blu-ray DVD and also you get the original CD soundtrack in this thing too. If you want to bump those crazy tunes off the movie, you can play them in your car or at the house. You could do it too. The little duck. They're trying to do the duck, you say, the duck sound. And I can't do it that good. But pretty much the movie takes place is like, you know, it takes place in like sleazy New York City back in the um, like late 70s, early 80s when New York was really grimy. A lot of porno theaters and hookers went rampant through the streets of you know Times Square and 42nd Street and all that kind of thing. And this movie right here has this uh, weird killer in the loose that like slices up women. They're not, these detectives are trying to figure out who is doing this. They're not really sure if it's like a one person doing it, if it's a team tandem doing it, or a copycat killer doing it from the original murders. This crazy like kind of like who done it sleazy kind of movie is this in a really good way is the New York Ripper classic one right here. Looks great in the 4K restoration of this thing. Looks really awesome. Like they cleaned up the job. It looks so great. The sounds great. Great job right here. Let me show you the back of it right now. Nice horde of extras in this thing up here. Nice set of 4K restoration scan of this up here. The original nigs. Let me show you the inside of it real quickly what it looks like. So I'll show you guys. All right, so I took off the slip case and opened it up inside. You have everything right in here. You get a nice little pamphlet and have everything like that in the flick. And you get, you know, soundtrack. You get everything up here. Blu-ray and everything like that in the DVD if you want it to. Next up here. Great company I'm going to review right now with some, with some movies they sent me is Vinegar Syndrome. Awesome company. Probably a lot of weird, obscure movies. Um, I love it. They always put good stuff. Like, I'm going to start with this one here. Nice few flicks from them. Start with this one called Night Beast. Really good, 
low budget movie, like like cheesy B movie, like ten thousand dollar budget flicks. You'll love this one. Night Beast stars is like this this uh, this aliens like cruising around space. His ship gets damaged. He goes down to Earth. He's stuck here in like some small town. He's not sure what to do. Just just it just starts killing people. This little vaporizing gum. Is his vaporizing gun? I think I said gum. His gun, and um, they just turn like this weird shadowy like like figure in the ground. It's like just burst into like nothingness, and it's like low budget effects. And the town's trying to figure out how to kill this thing before he takes over and just kills everybody in sight. But this one is great though. Night Beast, cheesy crap. If you like that, you'll love this. Sure Here's the back of it of all the extras you get in this thing. Get a nice commentary, nice great 2K restoration scan of this thing, interviews and all that kind of stuff right there. See, so, not nice, good. You know, practical you know effects, you know, early '80s style. Definitely a fun one right here is Night Beast. Definitely, you know, crack open a beer, watch this, get some popcorn, you have a damn good time. All right, next up here is this one called Evil Town, in this rad slipcase. It has like two different, you know, we can have like this cover or that cover, and opens up on the bottom side. It's a little hardbound slipcase, really unique. Never seen this style before, but Vinegar Syndrome always has these really cool, interesting things with their flicks right here. It's pretty much it takes place as these uh, four. Uh, used to go like this little weird town in this town there's like this weird stuff these uh, rumors of people disappearing like young people disappearing but there's like a weird mad doctor there and they like there's a couple of sleaze bad guys and they, they get these girls and these, these women and stuff and then you know, there's like weird experiments on them to stop the aging process is this doctor and this movie's really weird too because like it was like a lot of different weird producers that did this thing actually so it's kind of has like weird points like it was filmed like really weird and stuff like that, like from I think the 70s, to like early 80s, and then it was finally released, and that kind of thing. But this one's a cool, kind of sleazy, you know, kind of weird movie is this one, Evil Town. Definitely enjoyed it. If you like some good low budget weird cheese, definitely get a kick out of this one right here. The back of it is so you get some extras in this thing, and a nice cool poster too of this, I'll show you right now. A double sided poster if you want this side with a really cool hand, or you get that one too. How cool is that? In case you want to hang it up on your wall at home. You can definitely do so. The last but not least from Vinegar is this one. Uh, Savage Harbor, or also called Death. Dude, I love these reversible kind of covers. You get them like that. It's a really cool look. Hope to do more of these. Nice, good Frank Stallone, low-budget action crime flick is this. I love these kind of things. I mean, like in the late 80s, but Frank Stallone's like this cop. You know, he's doing all these crazy things and stuff like that. But he meets this woman right up here. She's a prostitute and on a heroine. She escapes like the... Her uh, boss captor escapes him. She's on the run, kind of. So they kind of like meet up, and he has a thing for her. They, they they fall in love, but he has to go away. And she goes back to the the sex prostitution life. And when he comes back, he tries to get her and to, to get her out of that lifestyle. But in doing so, the boss isn't like that and wants to knock him off and so and kill her too. And so there's all this crazy stuff like you know cat and mouse, you know cheesy good gunfights and things like that. And this one really fun, joyful. If you like like really you know bad like. You know, like late night HBO style, you know, USAF all night action flicks. You'll definitely uh, like this right here. Just a, definitely a fun late night watch, you know, is this. Next up here, a batch of movies from Mill Creek Entertainment. They put out these really cool ones. They, they look out for them this summer, Mill Creek, because they put out a lot of weird horror flicks and Andy Sadaris movies. I got one right here uh, I'm going to talk about in a little bit, which is Andy Sadaris. There's all these cool action flicks, and they put out some really cool stuff. I got a big stack of some goodness right here, and they put out these really cool... VHS looking slip covers on the Blu-rays. I'll give them a go check show you guys right now about these real quick and talk about them briefly. Mill Creek, look out for them this summer. A lot of good stuff going on with them. So I'm gonna start with this. You get the from the I Love the 90s collection. You get this great looking, you know, cover, like a slip case. Looks like a VHS and the movie Double Team. Nice and good one right here with Van Dam. You know, with Van Dam and uh Dennis Rodman and Mickey Rourke. And it's like you know, 90s flick right here, action flick cheese, you know. Of course, you're going to have the shot of the guy walking away from the explosion. Um, no X's on this thing right here, but but the, does look, the transfer does look great on Blu-ray. Take off the slip, and you get the original poster out of it right up here. But I just love how this slip looks. It definitely looks just like a tape right there. It looks super cool. Next up here, you get the classic Pauly Shore one, Jury Duty. Another nice little slip right there. Looks like, it looks like a Blockbuster sticker on it. You know, it has that look. It's a fun run right here. You know, you know, put you've seen this one before, probably sure. Gets on a jury panel, but he extends it more to kind of like stay there, get their food. And you got Tia Carrera in this thing. It's a nice, fun, good 90s comedy is this. And you got these cool double feature ones right here, too. But you get this one's great. You got Mind Warp and Brain Scan. 
And you got the Scream Factory when it brain scans out now, but if you wanna spend a bunch of money for it, just get this one right here. It looks great on Blu-ray. And Mind Warp is a cool, weird flick with uh, Bruce Campbell. That's a, that's a weird, I think that's never been on Blu-ray before, but it's good just to get that for that. This is a good couple of solid double features right here. You get High School High, which is great. And Mo Money, Mo Money, Mo Money, Damon Wayans, the classic Mo Money. Um, just some fun stuff right here. And last but not least from Mill Creek is this, Hard Ticket to Hawaii. The guy was talking about Andy Sidaris. He's a great, low budgety like, you know, uh, director did all these cool action flicks. has like always babes in it with guns and crazy kills and things like that. I, I got a few of them on VHS. I even got with one with uh, Pat Morita and Mr. Miyagi in it and he cusses in it. It's, fan it's awesome. This one right here is just a weird kind of fun one action flick. I got these two girls, like, like you know, they fly planes, they, they handle, they kill guns, you know, they shoot people with guns, and they, they get like this guy, and a couple other guys, like martial artists, to go on the loose to fight the evil bad guys in Hawaii. Hard Ticket to Hawaii is definitely a good one. If you like some good action flicks, this one is awesome. All right, and last but not least, from Paramount, a nice, hard, heartfelt kid movie is this, kind of lighten up the mood. It's like this one right here called Wonder Park here on Blu ray. Nice, good, you know, family wholesome flick is this. Pretty much has this girl. She gets the amusement park of her dreams, you know, and does anything she wants to play these games, rides all the craziest roller coasters. Her friends with these cool animals that talk, and just a fun, you know, cool flick. Not, nothing that's super amazing, but it's just a fun one to watch with your family. If you're into like, you know, animated like movies, you definitely will enjoy this one. Oh right man, here. that was a lot of movies to talk about right there for me. So now, whew, done with that. Links down below if you want to get those flicks at more. And now, what comes out today on Friday the 21st is the new Child's Play reboot. Are you gonna check that out? Let's go ask Chucky over here and see what he says. Oh, Chucky. Hey, how you doing? Now, are you excited about this Child's Play reboot? You know, they did a view. Are you excited about checking this out? The doll looks a little bit different looking than what you look like, man. How do you feel about that? Well, I don't fucking know. I hope it's good. If not, I'm going to kick that fucker's ass. They're like freaking try to imitate me. But I hope it's good, though. I hope it's, hope it's fun. Yeah, me too. I hope it's fun. I can't wait to check it out. Yeah, check that shit out. If it sucks, tell him Chucky. A.K. Charles Lee Ray is coming for that bastard. I will tell him that, Chucky. Thank you. Okay, cool. I'll leave you right there. Hang out with my little alien buddy right there. Oh, yeah. We'll talk to you later, my man. So there you go right there. So, yeah, definitely curious about checking that out. If you guys didn't check it out tonight or this weekend or early next week, the new Child's Play reboot. Anyway, hope you guys liked this video. If you do, give it a thumb up. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you're going to get some of these titles out, if you already have them, what your thoughts of these things right there. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Until next time, I'll catch you later. I'll see you. Bye-bye.